Welcome to our channel. Today, let's learn about the extraordinary life of legendary actor Fred Williamson. From his iconic roles on the silver screen to his lavish lifestyle and philanthropic efforts, Williamson's story is one of inspiration and impact. But perhaps the most inspiring aspect of Williamson's story is his dedication to using his platform for good. When touring his mansion, we are always met with reminders of his philanthropic efforts from awards and honors to photographs capturing impactful moments. Let's dive in now. Fred Williamson, a prominent figure in both sports and entertainment, has left an indelible mark on American culture. With a net worth of $15 million, Williamson's journey began on the football field as a defensive back in the American Football League AFL, during the 1960s. However, it was his transition to the silver screen that truly showcased his talent and versatility. In the realm of cinema, Williamson's portrayal of Tommy Gibbs in the 1973 crime drama, Black Caesar, catapulted him into stardom. The film, set in the gritty backdrop of urban America, captured the attention of audiences and critics alike, earning Williamson widespread acclaim for his performance. This success paved the way for Williamson's reprisal of the character in the sequel, Hell Up in Harlem, further solidifying his status as a leading actor in the burgeoning blaxploitation genre. Beyond his iconic role as Tommy Gibbs, Williamson graced the screen in a myriad of other blaxploitation classics throughout the 1970s. From the action-packed thrills of Hammer, 1972, to the espionage intrigue of That Man Bolt, 1973, and the adrenaline-fueled adventure of Three the Hard Way, 1974, Williamson's presence was felt across the cinematic landscape. Each role showcased his charisma, athleticism, and undeniable on-screen presence, earning him a dedicated fanbase and cementing his legacy in Hollywood. Despite his busy film career, Williamson's impact extends beyond the silver screen. His contributions to both sports and entertainment serve as a testament to his multifaceted talents and unwavering determination. As a trailblazer in two distinct industries, Fred Williamson continues to inspire audiences around the world with his remarkable journey from the gridiron to the big screen. Frederick Robert Williamson, born on March 5, 1938, in Gary, Indiana, came from humble beginnings. Raised by his parents Frank, a welder, and Lydia Williamson, Fred showed promise in both athletics and academics from a young age. He attended Froebel High School in Gary, where he excelled in track and football, graduating in 1956. Following high school, Williamson pursued his education at Northwestern University on a track and field scholarship. However, his athletic prowess extended beyond the track, leading him to the football field. Despite going undrafted, Williamson's talent caught the attention of the San Francisco 49ers, who signed him as a free agent. It was during his time with the 49ers that Williamson's aggressive style of play earned him the nickname, The Hammer, a moniker that would stick with him throughout his career. After a brief stint with the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL, Williamson found his home in the American Football League, AFL. Playing for the Oakland Raiders and later the Kansas City Chiefs, Williamson's hard-hitting style made him a force to be reckoned with on the field. His self-promotion, including famously boasting about his ability to shut down opposing receivers before Super Bowl I, garnered national attention and solidified his reputation as one of football's most intimidating players. Following his retirement from professional football, Williamson embarked on a new journey in Hollywood. His early film roles in movies like Moss H. and Tell Me That You Love Me, Junie Moon, showcased his acting talent. However, it was his roles in blaxploitation films such as Black Caesar and its sequel, Hell Up in Harlem, that catapulted him to fame. Williamson's portrayal of African-American characters, including the title role in Boss Nigger, resonated with audiences and established him as a prominent figure in the genre. Throughout the 1970s, Williamson continued to captivate audiences with his on-screen presence, starring in films like Crazy Joe, alongside Peter Boyle and Eli Wallach. His contributions to cinema, particularly within the blaxploitation genre, have left an indelible mark on American film history. In 1974, Fred Williamson took on a new role as a color commentator for Monday Night Football on ABC. He stepped into the shoes of Don Meredith, who had left to explore opportunities in acting and broadcasting at NBC. However, Williamson's tenure as a commentator was short-lived. Despite being featured in several preseason broadcasts, ABC deemed him unfit for the role and swiftly replaced him at the start of the season. 
This made Williamson the first Monday night football personality to not last an entire season, with former player Alex Caras taking over. Moving beyond the realm of sports commentary, Williamson continued to make his mark in the entertainment industry. He co-starred in the miniseries, Half Nelson, in 1985, showcasing his acting talents on the small screen. Throughout the mid to late 1980s and early 1990s, Williamson became a familiar face on television screens as a spokesperson for King Cobra Malt Liquor, sharing the spotlight with actor and martial artist Martin Cove. In 1994, Williamson joined forces with other notable black actors from the black exploitation era in cinema, including Antonio Fargas, Pam Greer, Rudy Ray Moore, and Ron O'Neill, for a cameo appearance in Snoop Doggy Dogg's music video, Doggy Dog World. Portraying himself under his professional football nickname, the Hammer, Williamson added his iconic presence to the music video. Continuing his journey in Hollywood, Williamson crossed paths with acclaimed actors George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino in the 1996 film, From Dusk Till Dawn, directed by Robert Rodriguez. His role in this cult classic further solidified his status as a versatile actor capable of commanding the screen alongside Hollywood's elite. Additionally, Williamson was part of the original cast of the film, The Inglorious Bastards a project that later inspired Quentin Tarantino's 2009 film of the same name. His involvement in these projects highlights his enduring impact on cinema and his ability to seamlessly transition between different genres and mediums. From the football field to the silver screen, Fred Williamson's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to his versatility and enduring legacy. Whether on the gridiron or in front of the camera, Williamson continues to captivate audiences with his charisma talent, and larger-than-life presence. With all of this success, it's no surprise that we would feature his ultra-luxurious homes. Mansion in Palm Springs, California Fred Williamson, the acclaimed actor and former NFL star, has made Palm Springs, California, his home since 1997. Tucked away on one of the largest plots of land in the area, spanning an impressive 3,557 square feet, his residence exudes sophistication and comfort. This expansive estate boasts five bedrooms and four bathrooms in the main house, offering ample space for relaxation and entertainment. Additionally, nestled in a secluded corner of the property, guests will find a detached guest to do accessory dwelling unit, complete with a sixth bedroom, bathroom, mini living room, and kitchenette. This private retreat provides the perfect accommodation for visitors seeking comfort and convenience. During the day, Residents can bask in the sun and warmth of Palm Springs by the stunning pool and spa, equipped with a luxurious private cooling system. The majestic mountain scenery serves as a picturesque backdrop while enjoying the outdoor bar and barbecue area, creating unforgettable moments against the backdrop of nature's beauty. As evening falls, the outdoor living room with fireplace and TV provides a cozy setting for relaxation under the starry desert sky. The heart of the home lies in the gourmet kitchen, featuring a spacious island and butler's pantry that opens seamlessly to the family room. This inviting space is ideal for entertaining guests and creating culinary masterpieces with ease. Beyond the luxurious amenities, Williamson's residence boasts modern conveniences designed to enhance everyday living. From the solar power system that practically pays you to use it to the level 2240-volt 2 EV charger, this home embodies the epitome of sustainable living. Other features include a central vacuum system, a security system with live cameras, and a sound system throughout the house, ensuring both comfort and peace of mind for its residents. With its unparalleled amenities and breathtaking surroundings, this residence truly embodies the essence of California living at its finest. Old Mansion in Gary, Indiana Fred Williamson, renowned actor and former NFL player, is reported to be the proud owner of a classic two-story American-style apartment boasting four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Situated just a block away from Miller Beach's vibrant Lake Street corridor and the newly constructed South Shore train station, this property offers exceptional opportunities for either single-family living or multi-family use, making it a potentially lucrative income-generating asset. Upon entering the front lobby, visitors are greeted by separate exits, providing secure, individual access to both floors of the apartment. The main level features a spacious living area, formal dining room, and separate kitchen, all adorned with original hardwood floors, oak trim, and beam ceilings. This charming blend of architectural elements creates a warm and inviting atmosphere, 
facilitating a seamless flow throughout the home. The first floor boasts a full bathroom, master bedroom with a half-bath shower, and a second bedroom, providing comfort and convenience for residents. Ascending to the upper level, one discovers an open-concept living room, full bathroom, country kitchen, and two additional bedrooms, offering ample space and flexibility for various living arrangements. The basement grants access to a shared laundry room and storage area, as well as a walkout below grade, adding further functionality to the property. Exterior features include a large front deck, ADA-compliant ramp, covered porch, and rear deck, all of which are shared by both levels of the apartment. These outdoor spaces provide residents with opportunities for relaxation and enjoyment, creating the perfect setting for al fresco dining or simply soaking up the sunshine. Fred Williamson's commitment to making a positive impact extends far beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Through his philanthropic endeavors, he has dedicated his time and resources to supporting various charitable causes. Leaving a lasting legacy of compassion and generosity. Philanthropy. One of the organizations close to Williamson's heart is the American Foundation for AIDS Research, AMFAR. This foundation is dedicated to funding AIDS research, prevention, treatment, education, and advocacy for sound AIDS-related public policy. Since 1993, AMFAR's annual Cinema Against AIDS Gala has been a cornerstone event in raising funds for essential AIDS research, generating over $22 million to date. Hosted by luminaries such as Dame Elizabeth Taylor, Sharon Stone, Demi Moore, and Sir Elton John, the gala has featured impromptu performances by stars like Robin Williams, Natalie Cole, and Liza Minnelli, among others. The 2006 live auction, conducted by Harvey Weinstein and Sharon Stone, raised an impressive $2 million, further bolstering the foundation's fundraising efforts. Additionally, Williamson has lent his support to the Motion Picture and Television Fund Foundation, which aims to protect and preserve the health and quality of life of individuals dedicated to the entertainment industry. This organization provides essential assistance to those in need within the industry, offering services ranging from healthcare to housing. The fight against cancer is another cause close to Williamson's heart, as evidenced by his support for the American Cancer Society, ACTS. This national health organization is dedicated to preventing cancer, saving lives, and reducing suffering from the disease. Through initiatives such as the Hope Lodge program, which provides free housing for adults with cancer. The ACTS offers vital support to individuals and families affected by cancer, easing their burden during challenging times. Furthermore, Williamson has championed the Grammy Foundation, established in 1989 to promote the understanding, appreciation, and advancement of recorded music in American culture. Through various programs and activities, the foundation engages the music industry, cultural community, and the general public, highlighting the importance of music and arts education and the preservation of cultural heritage. Fred Williamson's philanthropic efforts exemplify his commitment to making a meaningful difference in the world. Through his support of organizations like AMFAR, the Motion Picture and Television Fund Foundation, the American Cancer Society, and the Grammy Foundation, he continues to uplift and empower individuals and communities, leaving a legacy of compassion, generosity, and hope. Personal Life Fred Williamson, renowned for his iconic roles in film, boasts a life rich with both professional achievements and personal milestones. Williamson's journey through life has been marked by not only his contributions to the entertainment industry but also by his diverse personal experiences. Marriage has been a significant part of Williamson's life story. He has walked down the aisle twice, each union shaping different chapters of his life. His first marriage, to Jeanette Lavanda, lasted from 1960 to 1967. However, it was his marriage to Linda Williamson in 1988 that has stood the test of time. Linda, a multifaceted individual, wears many hats beyond being Williamson's spouse. With a background as a film producer, actress, and member of various film crews, Linda's presence in the entertainment industry echoes her husband's passion for the craft. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Linda is deeply involved in philanthropic endeavors. Her roles as secretary of the board of the Desert Symphony in Palm Desert, California, and a member of the board of directors of ACT for MS highlight her commitment to making a difference in her community. Linda's philanthropic endeavors extend further as she has chaired and been a member of numerous foundation boards and committees, including the Beverly Hills Auxiliary, Craftsman, Association and the Motion Picture Welfare League.
Notably, her contributions include serving as the president and founding member of the Children's Museum LA and being a life member of the United States Navy League. Williamson's family life is equally as remarkable as his professional achievements. While sources differ on the exact number, he is reported to have at least three children, with some indicating as many as six. This aspect of Williamson's life underscores the importance he places on family amidst his bustling career. In addition to his family and professional commitments, Williamson is a practitioner of martial arts. With black belts in Kenpo, Shotokan Karate, and Taekwondo, his dedication to martial arts reflects his discipline and commitment to personal growth. In a world where success is often narrowly defined, Williamson's life reminds us that true fulfillment comes from embracing the richness of diverse experiences. In a world full of stars, Fred Williamson shines brightest not only for what he achieved but also for the lives he touched and the exceptional lives he continues to create. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.